welcome everyone to Acapulco, Mexico for the Acapulco Cliffs International Championships. You are looking now with a diver's eye view from the 85-foot precipice high atop the cliffs here. I'm John Tesh along with three-time world diving champion and Olympic gold medalist Phil Boggs. And you know, Phil, standing here beneath the cliffs, you really do get a feeling for how treacherous these dives can be. John, not only do they have to clear rocks above water and below water, the water depth it changes itself. It can vary as much as six to eight feet, leaving the divers virtually no water to enter. It really is a hot one this afternoon for this individual competition, featuring 14 different divers from four countries. John, we have the home field advantage, the Mexican team led by Juan Obregon, popular resident of Acapulco. We have the American team with Barry Van Amberg, one of the few Americans to go headfirst off the cliffs. And we have three-time amateur world finalist, Scott Cranham from Canada. Now, one of the problems these divers face here is not only making the dives, but as you can see, Barry Van Amberg there on the side of the cliff, getting to that small rock perch. Now, that is the 65-foot perch there that Barry is approaching. These divers will compete from two distances, 65 feet, and in the second round, 85 feet. The scoring, seven judges, high and low scores, are thrown out. And the results from the first round added to the results of the second round. Here's Barry, 28 years old, used to dive for Michigan State. John, this is clearly man versus nature for the American team. They typically do show diving in amusement parks in uh, these big pools at home and are not used to competing against the rocks and the elements of the waves. Barry's first dive, one and one half somersaults forward. All right, let's slow it down. And this is Barry's first dive again from the 65-foot platform. Barry stood on the cliffs and waited for the water to fill the gorge. The depth changes from six to eight feet. He could end up going into virtually no water, so he waits for the proper timing to go. One of the few Americans to go in head first, which adds a degree of difficulty factor for the scoring. So there you see Barry's scores. High and low thrown out, multiplied by that difficulty factor, and his total is 171.6. So since he's the first diver to compete, and this is the first round, he is our current leader. Here's Hamilton Riddle, Phil, age 29, from Westfield, New Jersey. Hamilton is unusual for a diver. He's six feet, two inches tall. Most divers, like most gymnasts, are pretty short. The judges look at this dive. Hamilton did the same one that Barry did. They judge on the takeoff. That's a firm, aggressive, balanced push off the rocks. The execution, the mechanics, and the position he obtains in the air. The entry into the water. And they award points for beauty and aesthetics. Hamilton Riddle, as you look at his scores there, used to dive at Arizona State, turned pro after college, and began diving in amusement parks to make some extra money. And with his score of 178.8, he now takes first place honors. And Barry Van Amberg is pushed into second. Next up, Juan Obregon, 28, and he is a native and one of the favorites here. Juan is a favorite. He's also out for revenge. The Mexicans, for the first time, lost the team title to the Americans, and they're looking to regain face here in the individual competition. And you will see most of the Mexicans here using that headfirst swan dive. The Mexicans grew up training on the cliffs, and they do shows on the cliffs regularly, and this uh, arched, graceful swan is a position they try and sell to the public who come stay at the hotel. And look at those scores, Phil Boggs. The judge has awarded him big points, and he takes the lead by quite a bit in this early round. So Juan Obregon in the lead now in round one. It's Obregon, Riddle, and Van Amberg. We'll be back with more Acapulco in just a moment. Time for round two from the 85-foot level. The standings after round one from the 65-foot level. Juan Obregon in first, and he's with Phil Boggs now. Juan, you've been in this contest five times. You finished second. Can you go to the top level and still hold on to your lead and win? Well, well, I hope I can. I can keep in, in this place, and I hope I can finish like a little, like a champion this time. Congratulations on the first round. Will you do anything different for the second round? No, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to try to do best, better. Congratulations and good luck for round two. Thank you very much. And the view right there from the 85-foot level with a pair of trembling feet in the foreground, those feet belong to the man fourth entering this round, Barry Van Amber. Unlike the 65-foot level, John, they have no problem getting to the perch at 85 feet. They are on top of the gorge. Remember, from the 85-foot level, they have 14 feet of rocks to clear above the water and another four feet of rocks to clear below the water. John, his entry is short of vertical, and that will hurt his scores. Barry Van Amberg signaling to the judges that he's okay following that dive. Here it is in slow motion. 
can see him dive strongly off the cliff, somersault over, but he has to guess where the entry is. It's that blind entry where he doesn't see the water, and he guessed wrong. Again, seven judges, high and low scores are thrown out. His total added to the first round score gives him a total of 384.1, and because he was the first to compete in this round, he's our leader. Here is Ignacio Sanchez, 33, a hometown boy. Sanchez will do the same dive all the Mexicans do, the graceful swan dive. And by going in head first, he gets that extra degree of difficulty, which can mean as many as 20 points in one round. The head first dive, of course, the more dangerous of the dives here along the cliffs. And waiting for Sanchez scores. And seven and a half, eight, and that low seven will be thrown out. And so with that score added to his first round score, he becomes our leader. Next up, Hamilton Riddle, the gentleman who began diving in amusement parks. He would need a 209 score from this 85-foot perch to take the lead. John, it's a very poor dive. He did not reach vertical on that, and that score won't be enough to take over the lead. See it again in slow motion. Hamilton's very strong off the cliffs, a very, very big diver. Again, he was six feet, two inches tall, unusual. You can see as he turns over, he reaches that blind spot where they have to guess where the water is for a moment, and he guessed wrong. And his scores, a low score there, which will be thrown out, one of them anyway, a six and a half, and his total, 361.5. So he is out of the top standings in this round. And now at the 85-foot perch, Juan Obregon, our leader going into this round. And as you take a look at that graphic right there, he would not need much of a dive to regain the lead, Phil. Now, John, he just needs a good dive. Eights would probably put him in a comfortable lead. And that's a beautiful dive. Very strong, straight in, good position. You see it again in slow motion. Remember the judges judge that takeoff, the execution, the entry, and give points for beauty. And Juan has them all in this one. Strong takeoff, he holds a position and goes straight in the water. And Juan Obregon scores for that dive from the 85-foot level. So here in Acapulco, Juan Obregon has established the point total, which is 423.2 to beat. And now the small piece of rock, 85 feet from the water, occupied by Scott Cranham, who is third coming into this round. John Scott's done other crazy things. He used to do skydiving, and he was injured doing that. Ah, that's an excellent dive. You should get great scores. But again, it was the feet first entry. I don't know if it'll be enough to catch over again. Karen Cranham, his sister, watching a dive from Scott. Let's slow it down again. In slow motion, you see it's that same flying one somersault. He looks at the water, loses sight of the water, but judges it just right, and he goes straight in. Again, the rocks behind him and beneath him. And his scores, an unusually low score from the second judge there is seven, but again, the high and low scores from the seven judges are thrown out, so that one will vanish. So with that dive, Scott's total 400.8, and that tucks him in behind Juan Obregon. He's in second place. Next up, the youngster, Dale Draves, who had a disappointing first dive, and now looking to take second place with a fine dive here. John, Dale's doing the same dive as Scott, and one thing in the back of his mind is the fact that earlier in the week, one of the Americans hit the rocks doing that same dive. But not that time, Dale did a great dive. See it in slow motion, Dale's watching the water fill up the gorge. A very strong takeoff, you can see him look down at the water. Again, he loses sight of the water. But somersaults perfectly goes in, should receive very, very high individual scores, may move him into the top three. You can see the rocks right under the water. Those rocks, depending on how deep the water is at the time of entry, can be 8 feet or 15 feet from the surface. And some very nice scores for Dale Draves and doing some addition here. That will put him into third place. So a nice comeback from the American Dale Draves. He takes third. It's Juan Obregon and Scott Cranham, 1-2. So for Phil Boggs, this is John Tesh saying so long from La Quibrata, the cliffs of Acapulco.